In this video, we'll work with string buffer. So what we have is we have a string and we have worked with it, right? So what I will do is remove everything and let's work with string buffer. So I will say string buffer and let's create a reference for it equal to new string buffer. Now when you talk about string buffer, of course, in this string buffer, you will have a string and it which is actually mutable. You can change it. Now to make it more efficient, you know what string buffer does? String buffer will give you a buffer size. Okay, which is of 16 bytes. So I, I can just try to print that first. I will say sb dot. Uh, so we can know the capacity of this string buffer. Even if it is empty, it will give a capacity of 16 characters and you, you got it there. In fact, you can also provide some initial string here. So let's say uh, if I say Naveen here. Now, Naveen is of five characters, right? This is how you basically create a string buffer. In bracket, you mention this string. So it will create a string buffer object. And the beauty is you can change this data. Okay, now the thing is, uh, if you talk about capacity, what it will be. So capacity is, should be still 16, right? No, it actually changes. If you can see, the capacity will become 21. It's because it will store my name and it will also give me a 16 space extra. Now why it gives me that space is because every time you change data and if it consumes a continuous memory location inside your heap memory, and what if there's no continuous location next? I mean, what if there's no location available, there's no space available. In that case, it has to relocate. So to reduce the re relocation of the string, it gives you a buffer. Okay, uh, so that's the capacity. And now we know how it works. We can also print the length of the string. We can say sb.length. And length is available in normal string as well. So if I compile and run, you can see the length is five. So length and capacity are two different things. Okay, now can I append data. See, the ultimate thing was, can I change my data, which is Naveen in this case. The beauty is string buffer will give you a lot of different methods to do that. You can see we have a method called append. So you can use append and you can append any data which you want to. So let's say I want to append ready here. And of course I want to give a space between Naveen, uh, Naveen and ready. So you can append and you can print the data. So you can print SB as it is. Let's, oh, first we have to compile the code run and you can see we got Naveen ready, it, it, that works. Next, what if you want to assign string buffer data to string? As example, if I do that, uh, you can see it will give you error. It says type mismatch cannot convert from string buffer to string. Uh, of course, right? STI is of type string. So in that case, you can get the string back. Uh, do we have a method for it? Let's see. Yes, we do have two string, we can use that. I think that's the only method we can use. Yeah. So let's use two string. So basically you can use two string to convert the string buffer data. I mean, it will get the string format. It will store in str and you can print it. Okay, we can use that. What else we can do with string buffer? If I come back here, if I say sb dot, you can see we have so many methods here. Okay, so we have append, we have cas, it will give you a character. We have done that. Okay, so we can also delete something. We can delete a character at an index. So let's say I want to delete a character at location two. If you try to delete that data, compile and run, you can see we got, oh, something is missing. The V is missing there because that is at index number two. Okay, so the idea is we basically we can change it and you can experiment it a lot. You can try to use different methods. We can delete, we can insert also in between. Let's say I want to insert uh, Java at the start. You can do that. So you can say insert. You can mention the index value where you want to insert at zero location and the data we want to, which you want to insert. So I will say Java space. Now what it will do is it will add Java at index zero. I mean that is start itself. So if I run, you can say it says Java. Of course you can add Java in between as well. Uh, let's say I want to add after fifth location. I think that should work. After the space it's six. So let's try that. Compile, run. You can see it, uh, Naveen, Java, ready. So it works. Okay, so yeah, that's how we can basically use insert. We have more methods to explore and I would recommend you to do that. Can we see one more? We can also get this substring. Let's say if you have a very big string, you can specify uh, the starting point, ending point uh, using substring. You can set the length as well. So if you set the length of the stream, uh, let's say I want to set the length of 30. So if you want to add your data and if you want to have a specific length, which is 30 here, it will save the data, which is whatever you have. Naveen ready will be stored and all the other values will, will be null. Let's see. So after Naveen ready, it will add some extra data here. Okay. So that you can replace that later. Cool. Uh, we can do that. We can also set a uh, minimum or maximum data. I think there's minimum capacity method, which we can use. 
Oh, I think the method name is ensure capacity. Yeah. Okay. So we can say we can uh, we can set the ensure capacity to hundred. So it by minimum minimum uh, capacity will be hundred. Okay. That's how we have different methods. Now, what's the difference between string buffer and string builder? So as I mentioned, we also have string builder, right? There's only one difference. String buffer is thread safe and string builder is not. Now, what is thread safe means that we'll understand once we talk about thread concept. So at that point also, uh, we'll talk about uh, difference between string buffer and string builder. But whatever methods you have in string buffer, it's almost same as uh, string builder. So if you know one, you know the other one as well. Okay, so that's about string buffer and some of the methods of string.